Ever wonder what that U-bend shape in your drain pipe is? It's called a P-trap, and it's designed to hold water and block sewer gases from coming up through your drain. The P-trap has been around for 150 years, but causes myriad of negative issues. P-trap came about when plumbing came into use in the late 1800s. It was used on plumbing fixtures such as the sinks, the toilets, the uh, bathtubs. And the purpose was to prevent the gases from working their way back into the living space. In the early 1900s, when air conditioning came in, the same problem existed on air conditioning units as on toilets and fixtures. The problem is you want to get rid of the moisture from the condensate on the air conditioner, and you also don't want to have any air entering or leaving that air conditioning unit because it's a waste of energy. There are major problems with the peat traps today. The most serious problem is the dry out problem. Every spring an air conditioner starts up to cool for the summer. The trap is dry and what happens is air is sucked in through the drain pipe and as the water tries to leave the air conditioner it can't get out because the air is rushing in and the air just blows the water all over the air conditioner area, soaking the insulation, the motor, and it causes a lot of damage to the equipment and also mold. We spend billions per year on maintenance repair for damaged walls, ceilings, and HVAC equipment that is a result of water spray caused by dry or frozen P-traps. Cost and energy consumed resulting from air loss through P-traps is estimated to be over $3 billion. We need to find a better way to solve or eliminate the negative effects that are common with the conventional P-trap. The condensate trap, the purpose of it is to allow the HVAC equipment, the air conditioning equipment, to function as it should. When it fails, it can cause damage to facilities, damage to the unit. So a condensate trap is extremely important. We actually use the air pressure of the equipment to maintain the seal. So with a standard P-trap, you have to use water. You use water or condensation to maintain the seal, to not allow air to go into the equipment or exit the equipment. With an air trap, we're actually letting the system do the work for you. The air pressure of the equipment will hold the internal mechanism in its seat. Once you have condensation, it will cause the internal mechanism to move to allow the condensate to flow. And once condensation stops, the trap is closed again, it is reseated, there's no water in the line. And knowing all the challenges that have existed for 150 years in the industry, that's why we created the air trap, to solve the problems that we know have existed. Deschamps Technologies is a research and development driven company that designs, manufactures, and markets next generation technology, specifically for the HVAC industry. Their technology is what sets them apart and makes them the industry experts. Deschamps Technologies is an R&D technology based company. Our goal is to provide technical solutions that are solving problems in the HVAC industry. But to really kind of understand Deschamps Technologies, you have to know where it all started. And it started with a call to Nick Deschamps from the field, from a data center, needing a solution for a P-trap issue. That was where the first design, the P-series, which is positive pressure trap, that's where it came about. A data center has an average of 150 to 200 traps. Every two weeks they would have to fill the traps. So 150, 200 traps, every data center set up. So they wanted a solution. And he came up with a P-series. And so shortly after that, Nick again was contacted by a different company. He said, we love your P-series, but we have a negative pressure application. Can we use that product for this application? And the answer was no, but then Nick went back to his lab and created the N-Series for the negative pressure air trap. So the HVAC air trap, the premise behind it, it prevents air from exiting or entering HVAC equipment. Basically, we use the air pressure from the equipment to maintain the seal. 
So with a negative pressure system, and a negative pressure, what we would call that is a draw through, and that's where the fan is drawing through the coil, drawing the air through the coil. The formula for a standard P-trap is two times the plenum pressure plus one. So let's say your unit has two inches of pressure, and that's your fan pressure. That means your standard P-trap is going to be five to six inches. With our product, we only need the plenum pressure. So that formula is split in half. With a positive pressure install, it's not about the water head or the water pressure, it's about buoyancy. So when you have your HVAC equipment, you don't have to have a certain height before you install into an air trap. You actually go from the condensate line to street elbow directly into our trap because it's about buoyancy. Once you have condensation, the air trap, the internal mechanism, will float up. Once condensate stops, it will reseed itself. You never have to worry about conditioned air escaping or ambient air entering through a dry trap. The future is bright for Desham Technologies. We now have 14 different models that enables us to essentially sell every type of HVAC condensate application. We're working closely on getting a code on condensate traps that states either no leakage or a very low leakage rate. That opens up a tremendous opportunity for the company. We are already worldwide. We are continuing to develop and to educate new markets, new countries. So it's very exciting to be part of the Desham Technologies team. It's exciting to help educate and change the mindset of people in the industry. To learn more about Deschamps Technologies, visit DeschampTechnologies.com.